let's see. Let's have our next and last speaker while we wait for hope. I've invited you to join me. So you can join me. Um, just accept where you are. Um, our last speaker, our next speaker, not our last because we still have hope coming somewhere. Our next speaker is um, Telelane. I hope I'm pronouncing right. I know there is a click somewhere. Please remind me how to pronounce your name. Just put the camera a bit so that you can see your face. Mm -hmm. Hey, good afternoon, Winnie. Good afternoon. How are you? Looking great. Thank you. Yes. Oh, the right pronunciation is Kalani. Kalani. I know there's a certain way it has to be pronounced. <laughs> okay, Kalani. Kalani. So yes. there's the T L. Kalani. Okay, yes. welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Hope has been kicked out. She was supposed to be speaking and uh, she was somehow kicked out of the meeting. So what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and have you uh, go to speak. So I'll do a small introduction so that uh, everybody, it's, uh, uh, they have an idea who you are and why you are here. Now, Let's uh, do our best to pronounce the way she has taught us. Kalani. Kalani Moshane. Is that also having a click? Mochisane. Mochisane. Did I say it right? Yes, yes. Kalani Mochisane is currently employed with Lesotho. National Development Corporation as a personal assistant to the general manager. She's based in the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. She's a mother, a daughter, and a sister. She's the reigning champion of personal assistant of the year award uh, 2021. She brings 15 years of administrative experiences to the table with expertise in scheduling and correspondence. Our expertise in data management systems and project coordination make her a valuable asset to the corporation. Well done. Our short um, time aspiration is to become an executive assistant or even an administrative assistant with this and as skill set. Coupled together, it will enable our, our growth within the corporation. Let me begin by just asking, when you thought about who you'd be as an adult, is being an assistant one of the things that came to your mind? No, actually it was introduced to me by my auntie. Actually she was working uh, as a lecturer in one institute, the one that I attended. I didn't even mm. know about the course, but mm. once she, was, she started explaining to me what it entails, uh, I fell in love with it. I was like, okay, let me try this. Let me bring the difference to the work environment. Let me try to bring the, the, the skill sets to make a work environment a pleasant place to be. I thought being a personal assistant, uh, it says working directly with your boss and assisting him, being the front desk of, of, of officer and making the organization running smooth. And it's, that's how it started and I fell in love with it. Oh, so you just, um, so the things that happen if you are an assistant, you love them. Now, when you stepped into doing those things, did you love them? Because even more. What you even more. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> you knew this is the career where you are going to build your life around. Yes, yes. Uh, I see myself being an executive assistant in the near years. Wow. So it means that after you joined, now you are more aware, this is what you love to do. This is what you want to do. Did you now go back again and now decide I need to study because this is the path I want to travel? Come again, please. 
Did you go back again to school or to college now to make sure that you learn the things that you need to learn for you now to settle in that, um, in that career? Oh, yes, I did. I did. I attended uh, an institute by the name of Laboratory Polytechnic. They offer trainings for secretarial studies. Wow. And, and, as, you, and, and as you studied, now you begin to practice that at work. Where did you start your career in terms of where was your first job? Oh, my first, my, my journey started when I was an intern. I was an intern at the Institute of uh, Development Management, IDM. It's a training mm -hmm. institute. Uh, I was placed there to practice what I've been taught. So mm -hmm. I did all the secretarial duties. That's where my journey started. And then I joined the Computer Business Solutions. The Computer Business Solutions is also a computer training institute. Mm -hmm. I became the personal secretary to the managing director. Mm -hmm. Then I joined Tutanyana Mining and Civil Works under Motai Diamonds Mine as an administrator. Did, did uh, uh, the change from the different organizations um, give you like different challenges because there were different environments? Not, not, not really. The, mm -hmm. the scope of the work is the same. It's just that mm -hmm. the organizations differ one from another. And just that the line was the same, it's just for an individual to adapt and learn the ropes and carry on. Mm -hmm. So at least the roles are the same. So you keep on improving on what you are learning. Yes. Which other organization did you work for? The, National, the National University of Lesotho, uh, where I worked as the personal assistant to the director of human resource. And then I joined Lesotho National Corporation currently. Ah, okay. So you worked in the university and nothing, um, nothing made you feel like you could change even during those transition periods. Like, I don't think I will continue with this career and just stay here. You didn't. Um, no, I, I didn't. I loved my job with every different car, every different organization. Like I said, every uh, every in, uh, organization differs from the other. It's just that yeah. how you do your job, mm -hmm. how you present your job, how dedicated you are. It's all about falling in love with what you do. Waking up mm -hmm. every day, doing what you mm -hmm. love, makes your day a pleasant and fruitful day. You still have. Um expertise in scheduling, correspondence, data management systems, and project coordination. In your work as an, as an assistant, do you specifically just uh, use those skills and go, for example, if in project coordination, do you prefer to work in the project? Yes, I, I do because they they enhance my mind. They make mm -hmm. me to be proactive, to think ahead. Okay. So you still, the areas you identified that you are good at, and I think that's good self-awareness, helped you to focus on the areas where you want to unleash your full potential, even though as an assistant. And that maybe is what has helped you to grow when you join organizations, because you know what you are offering. Yes, the, that... my, yes my expertise in the, in the areas have helped me to, to add more mm -hmm. to the areas that I'm less competent in. Mm -hmm. So even, even though you love the data management system, nothing attracted you to, to go behind the scenes and work with the IT group, nothing. 
nothing no, nothing at all no no no, no. Just I'm, I'm, i know my line this is where i want to be that is where you want to be yes yes yeah be before you joined uh, Lesotho National Development Corporation where were you before uh, I was with the National University of Lesotho ah okay that that's that's where you are in HR yes I was in but, HR oh, okay so even even that didn't attract you and before the university because I would have expected that maybe because you have been in a lot of the training institutions you'd love to even be a trainer or a teacher, nothing doing. You still start to you want to be an assistant and help the executive. What is exciting about helping executives to achieve the goals? Maybe that's what you love to do. What is what, exciting? What, what attracts me is seeing our daily routines done and seeing the unit and the division achieving the goals and the, ma the mandate is well achieved right on time. And knowing that there is always more to do, like giving your best, mm -hmm. make, no, knowing that you have reached your expectations. Mm -hmm. And knowing that you have reached your expectation, you don't face challenges in terms of like when the boss wants um, your input, but at the same time, they want to have that input as their own. Does that uh, give you a problem? Because you are supposed to be like the sounding board for the boss. No, it doesn't. Because my role is to support the boss. Mm -hmm. And I know that I would, uh, I would know that I have contributed even if he gets the pat on the shoulder, it doesn't give me a bad feeling because I know that I've, I have contributed. I've made this a success. Mm -hmm. how, how does it play if you are also working with other people in the team? Does it give you a problem when other projects, team members come and they want to push you aside and maybe at that specific point, you are actually in the project to support your boss, but it's not there, and you have to give an input. Uh, that's that why, time? no, that's why decision making, proper decision making has to come in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, the, the one thing that I would love to ask since 2021, having uh, been the winner for the award, in which case, now this gives you recognition in terms of what you do also in the industry where you are and around your family and friends. What impact was there for you, for your organization, and maybe for you in the industry? Okay, even though there hasn't been any career growth following the Paya win, mm -hmm. This award has helped me in so many ways. Um, I, it has boosted my morale. Uh, it has helped me with my confidence and it has increased my ability and my self-esteem has been increased also and my willingness to take new challenges. Uh, does it mean that before you didn't want to take on challenges and yet you've been in like uh, projects doing um, and doing work and actually working with team team members who sometimes are supposed to be your superiors? Uh, not really. It's just that before this uh, fire win and before this exposure to the symposium, uh, there's always this thing that says you're not good at this mm -hmm. but after this it has opened doors for me greater opportunities and also it has helped me to believe in myself to know that i can do this mm -hmm. there is no elevator to success what i mm -hmm. have to do is for me to to work hard and know that if i fail there's always another chance as long as i'm living there's always a chance ahead yeah. You, you have changed your um, the organizations you worked in severally 
And the, the issue is when you changed, what happened that made you to decide it is time to move if you still were wondering if you are good enough? Because by changing and moving from one, one position in one organization to another, there was a lot of career growth. What are some of the, what are some of the areas you feel that you needed to work on? During my transitions. Transitions from one organization to another. Yes. What, why, you want to know the areas where I have, where, what, the areas where I have improved? Yeah. Since the secretarial roles are the same, I can't really say I have grown because my ability to do my duties and my activities have always been the same. It's just mm -hmm. that in one organization might do things a different way. It's just mm -hmm. how, it's just about me to sit, sit, relax, lend the ropes and then carry on. Yeah. So you are ready to, to learn and you realize the areas that you need to work on. So you learn that so that now you can grow in those areas and so that you can move to the next, uh, the next job with the next organization where you are joined. So are there things uh, you would tell your younger self now that you've gone through all that? What are some of the things you would tell your younger self? Okay, uh, I, would, uh, I would tell my younger self not to be afraid to try new things. Mm -hmm. Take risks and put themselves out there for opportunities. Mm -hmm. If things don't go well or don't mm -hmm. work out, don't stay down. Learn from that and move ahead. And it is, that is called failing forward. Don't failing. say I have failed. They then they, this is the end of me. Learn from your mistake, put all yeah. the pieces together and then start again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, good. Because then they, they prepare us for the future and we should not, we should look at life differently knowing that you can fail and still uh, rise up and continue, which is what you've learned. You, you actually have mentioned that. So we need to be aware of that and allow ourselves to move on even if we fail we need to take risks and i guess this is very important in our lives and we need to know that every one of us goes through some stages and through those stages we still learn even if we go even if we are scared even if we are we don't know we might fall we might fail but we still move forward Thank you so much for sharing. I hope and look forward to seeing you again this year as you hand over to the next, next winner. Is there anything else I forgot? Maybe you need to yes. No, 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 there is nothing, but thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for making the time. We're so See happy you in the next two weeks. Yeah, so we look forward to, see, to seeing you and to seeing what will come forward as you bring this, this first season to an end. We're excited that we have done the first uh, season successfully, and we are thankful that the winners have actually shared their inspiring stories so that they can lead others to come and discover themselves. The, the word is actually about yourself. It's not about us, it's about yourself and gives yeah. you that reflection. And we can see that has happened in your life. Thank you so much. And Thank you. say hello to everybody in the kingdom. Hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you.